old fishery over here of how to do that, and they sort of grabbed on, and, and I envisioned the way it would work in, in Malaysia and a lot of other things with lots of cottage industries and people having their own bats of jellyfish and buyers coming around, but that's not how we do things in America. We have to have big corporate grab and take it here and have it elsewhere. Plus, I am now processing jellyfish for burn treatments. If you get a bad burn and you take a jellyfish, you put it on there. Jellyfish is 100% collagen, and um, it does absolutely wonderful things for uh, for skin. If you have arthritis, eat jellyfish. It really makes a huge difference. It's very good for bronchitis. It's good for a number of different things. In Chinese, there's the two opposing forces of the yin and the yang, right? Uh, yin being the dark force. Yang being the light force. Well, jellyfish is the light force. The yang is it, 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 very much of a yin food. So that if you have a and making a phylosec and all the other crap, and I do that, I have a bad stomach and I take that stuff a lot. But it's good as the phylosec. Hmm. And, uh, and a little lot less. Does it help break Huh? Does it help break It does actually help your skin a lot. I mean, you know, you get a lot of. Uh, I do. Where do we get it? 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 Okay, what you do with a jellyfish is you, you arrive at a salted product that looks like a pancake. I'm going on too long with you. Go ahead, I'm loving it. You're live. We'll put this on YouTube tomorrow. That's good. All right, so then what you do is you take you take your pancake. And the jelly on the outside, huh? the inside has no value. Yes, it does. The inside does have value, but it's about half, half price or less. Okay, but they like the round umbrella. And their jellyfish, by the way, is a species called Ropalema, which gets to be about this big, you know, Woo! a great big thing. And, and we get something like that washed up on the shore here in the wintertime. But Cannonball is a little round thing, and I have actually pictures of me and the Minister of Fisheries holding up my little cannonball, and he's holding up one of his great big, you know, rough lamas. But anyway, what you do is you soak it in fresh water. And the, it's the ridiculous part about it is it all ends up with little chopped stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter how big the jellyfish is, so they put a lot of importance to that. Then you soak it in, you soak it overnight, change the water on it a couple of times, ring out, and there should be no salt or alum taste to it. Salt and alum are what it takes to basically do that. Then what you do is put in some sesame oil, a little rice vinegar, um, some people add sugar, a little salt, uh, sesame seeds, I said, and some soy sauce. And then what they do is serve it often at every wedding, graduation, big deal event. It's, they fight, and cucumbers are served in sort of this big rotary thing around it, and there's this little pile of jelly. It'll be the next Wednesday up the creek special, right? <laughs> <laughs> it should be. It should be. And then when you bite into this stuff, it goes crunch. And if it has the crunch, it's called music to the teeth. And then... So, I'm very proud to see this thing going, whether they believe it all came from, you know, from all that or not. But, uh, interesting. You know, it's not industry that uh, started, you know, uh, I remember Raphael processing the cannonball. I trained them in session in 92 yeah. with Raphael. Yeah. I brought all the stuff over, ordered the yeah. island of salt. Have they been doing it continuously? Well, jellyfish have a boom and bust. And this is the biggest year we have ever seen jellyfish e of cannonballs ever. And I don't think that's necessarily a good sign for the ocean. And how does it take? How do they take it off? Yeah, properly prepared jellyfish have no taste of its own. No. So it's it's picking up. It's picking up. It's, it's, yeah. it's a beautiful like carrier. Like toaster. Like toaster. Yeah. That's so when I was uh, just recently, I was up at MIT and the Shriner Children's Burn Hospital, and I carried my cannonball up there with them. And the way the, the, actually the old Materia Medica in Chinese, about a thousand years old, talks about jellyfish as a burn. But yeah, the first thing you do when you get it when you get a cannonball is you they have four openings, four holes in the top of the thing, and you sort of think, it's kind of gross. You stick your fingers between them and you go tear, 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 and the cord drops out, and then you have the umbrella. The umbrella is the pricier part. Okay, and uh, yeah, that that's exciting. Okay. So what's the wheels? Are wheels or wheels? That's what I'm trying to find out. 
Wow. At one point, it was a couple of dollars a pound for finished jellyfish. So, in other words, if you have a hundred pounds of jellyfish, if you just catch out of the bay with water by the time you process it, you have 20 pounds. So it has a straight water. No, they never want to freeze the jellyfish. Yeah, what, these guys here? Are they six what I'm hearing is they're getting like five cents a pound. And I've heard different different figures. But still, when you go out there and you drop that net down, you make that tow and you load it up, they're they're making money. That's what we saw. They're dragging everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and when they're dragging all these jellyfish, consider this one cannonball. One cannonball jellyfish eats on the average 60,000 prey items per day. So it's eating its weight in oysters, it's eating its weight in anchovies, it's eating its weight in marble uh, shrimp, it's eating its weight in copepods and plankton. And these are, and the Latin name for a cannonball is Thermophilus miliagris, which means many mouth hunters. And mouth, and these things, the way it does is it pulses along. It's the fastest moving jellyfish in the world. Nothing outswims a cannonball in the jellyfish run. And when it sucks the water in, it has all these little plates underneath it in the mouth, which are which it sucks. It flushes the water through it, and it and each of it sucks out the plankton as it go as it goes. And it's also releasing sperm and egg, depending on whether which sex it is. And so when it pulses out. It keeps the food in and it shoots its waste out. And it's, it's, it's a marvel of total efficiency. Wow. But uh, the fact is that you know the medical attributes of this thing is we're just beginning. As far as I'm concerned, that is that's an interesting industry there. But with proper capitalization and everything else, the biotech of this thing has aspects of it as far as surgery, implants, and everything else is way ahead. Anyway, cool. Wow. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jack.